Hello, Brabs. We're back with I, Billy Shakespeare by William Peter Blatty, an early comical, comical novel. Actually, it's more of a, what's those called? Novella with drawings by Ver Victoria Chase. Tape six from my backup copy, coffee stained front and board tape six where have i failed me hey eh? two nights ago i began work on flanning flaming victory at the bay of pigs yes there has been a title change i quickly completed the blocking for all that was required was a variation of my standard plot i assume that's a number four i don't know what the fuck that means attacks by overwhelming forces then i plunged into the heroic speeches by the arrow for the bed was more insistent that these be tackled first. He mumbled something about adapting them for television speeches. I was experiencing considerable difficulty with the one that begins once more upon onto the breach, dear amigo. <laughs> once more upon the breach, dear amigos, once more. Who close the wall up with our bearded dead, etc., etc. When Beard One crept into the room, on his little rhino feet and leered over my shoulder at the manuscript. What part now? It's the night before the invasion scene. I explained, Wally, the one where you wander among your troops disguised as a guava jelly vendor, boosting their morale. A little touch of Castro on the night, etc., etc. Listen, while you're here, let's have the name of the heavy again. President of the United States, he spat. I blinked. United States? See? Look here. <laughs> Conflating voices, bravs. Look here. Are you telling me that it was the United States, your little island beat off? See? Didn't they win World War II, bruv? See? See? I mimicked. What do you mean, see? What the hell am I supposed to be writing here, Midsummer Night's Dream? I have give you three the facts, he screeched. What you want from me, huh? You want me to kill myself? That was will not be necessary, I said curtly. His gay reply took the form of his ripping out a handful of his beard and thrusting the evil mass under my nose. These are facts, no? Somewhere I had lost the thread and was consequently hard pressed for a reply. But none proved necessary. For now he fell back against the wall, spread-eagled his arms, and with his head lolling from side to side, he commenced his usual moaning, whining, and mystical babbling, positively astounding, following sickness in the vertical. He slumped to the floor, moaning, and presently two men in olive drab came in and carried him out, performing the task with the grace of long usage. Then the beard's doxy entered, locked the door behind her, and confronted me at the desk. Are you going ahead with this? She whispered. Odd. No trace of an accent. You speak English very well, I commented. Don't do it, she re she pleaded. Don't do what? I rattled and shh. She replied, putting a finger through her lips. Suddenly I became wary. Are you by any chance a Baconian? What is a Baconian? A maddened swine charging. I don't understand you. Good. Now, what is it you want? A sonnet? Book report? Term paper? What? She eyed me levelly, an unnecessary precaution, since the desk concealed my nakedness full to the waist. Do you know what propaganda is? She asked. You poor thing, I invented. I told her. What do you think my enemies were? Do you know the doctor plans to use your screenplay for sinister propaganda purposes? Who the devil are you? CIA, she snapped, and then she went into such a story. Mr. Shakespeare, she ended it. You must go back where you came from. Forget about this play and forget about my tapes. If I don't write the play, what happens to my tapes? Leave immediately, and I will smuggle the tapes to the United States. Their contents will be published in full. Really? Yes. No cuts, no sneaky editing. 
My word is my bond. Your word? I don't even know your name. I am Consuelo Gauze. You poor thing, I murmured. You poor, poor thing. And then it overcame me. Lethargy, melancholia. I am weary, Cars, weary. And so I have commenced my tapes. And some rough sketches of my contemporaries to the eager Miss Gauze. I don't care any more. Benny was right. The plays are the thing. Not who wrote them, I suppose. This is it, Cars. Parting is such sweet sorrow, etc. Will you miss me? You scabrous rogues. Ah! Will you miss me? Adieu. Adieu. Remember me. Fin. Fin. I mean, that was kind of a pointless book, if I'm honest. That's all, bros. Never mind my chair speaking its many tongues.